चैप्टर थ्री प्रिवेंशन अर्ली आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड इंटरवेंशन थ्री पॉइंट वन प्रिवेंशन थ्री पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्योर द राइट्स ऑफ पर्सन्स विद डिसेबिलिटीज एक्ट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एम्फिसाइजेज प्रिवेंशन ऑफ डिसेबिलिटी थ्रू अप्रोप्रिएट अवेयरनेस मेजर्स इन्वेस्टिगेशन research and mother and child care some of the disabilities such as disability caused due to blood disorders neurological conditions could be prevented by sensitizing the public about the causes of its occurrence 3.1.2 Ministry of Health and Family Welfare implements various programs for prevention and control of disabilities which are universal immunization program national program for control of blindness pulse polio program national iodine deficiency disorder control program national leprosy eradication program national program for prevention and control of deafness national program for prevention and control of fluorosis three point one point three national program on prevention of disabilities currently being implemented by ministry of health and family welfare is focusing on traditional causes of disability however there are many other causes such as malnourishment medical negligence socio cultural factors impairment caused by disasters moreover with the addition of new disabilities under the rpwd act 2016 there is a growing need to develop strategy to prevent the new form of disabilities based on scientific research 3.1.4 the policy outlines the following prevention and early intervention strategy a comprehensive national program on prevention of disability should be developed not only to take care of entire gamut of disabilities under rpwd act but also other medical conditions which are considered as risk cases that may manifest into any form of disability there is a need to upscale research based survey on the occurrence of disability at different localities so as to work 
appropriate socio medical interventions to prevent such occurrence the primary health workers village level workers anganwadi workers asha workers primary school teachers are required to be sensitized about the causes of disability and the means to prevent such occurrence community level sensitization on these issues need to be undertaken by health women and child development and social welfare departments by the states and uts regular training of asha and anganwadi workers should be imparted for early identification and rehabilitation of pwds 3.2 early identification and intervention 3.2.1 as per census 2011 There are about 20.42 lakh children in the age group of 0 to 9 years have some form of disabilities that is either congenital or acquired Research studies have shown that early childhood 0 to 6 years of human life is the critical period that determines a person's ability to reach her or his lifelong health social and economic potential this is the period when early symptoms of any deformities or risk cases can be detected and treatment therapeutic intervention for achieving necessary preventive corrective and rehabilitative response undertaken to prevent disability or lessen its severity 3.2.3 there is a dire need to provide quality childhood intervention early in life which helps to develop the skills needed to enable it to lead an independent and dignified life 3.2.4 early intervention center and approach disability burden can be reduced through effective rehabilitation services and not just through medical care services 0 to 6 years of child being sensitive and critical phase of life early identification and appropriate intervention at this stage is the key one third of most disabilities in children are preventable if detected early and with timely intervention appropriate rehabilitative intervention can reduce the disability burden and enable participant at all levels independently coordinated approach between health centers and rehabilitation institutions 
needed. This ability being a state subject, involvement of state authorities in the process is crucial. A chart being shown related to facilities at EICs. Services under EICs. First, counseling services in which parental counseling and training, peer counseling. Next, outdoor common services in which sports arena, sensory and therapy. Next, school readiness in which preparatory classrooms. Next, screening and identification in which identification and referral. Next, therapeutic services in which physiotherapy Behavioral therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, etc. 3.2.5 The policy provides for First, developing a network of cross disability early intervention centers, short form CDEICs, in every district to provide the following services in an accessible and appealing environment in a contagious manner under single roof. First, screening and identification with facilities for identification of risk cases and referring for appropriate Rehabilitative services. Next, therapeutic services such as physiotherapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, behavioral therapy, etc. Parental and peer counseling. Next, school readiness facilities for communication and language development, physical development, personal, social and emotional development. The CDEICs need to be equipped with rehabilitation professionals and personnel such as clinical psychologists and rehabilitation psychologist, special educator, activity teacher, 
नर्स पीडियाट्रिशियन एंड थेरेप्यूटिक एक्सपर्ट्स द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट कंपोजिट रीजनल सेंटर्स एंड रीजनल चैप्टर्स ऑफ नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट अंडर डी ई पी डब्ल्यू डी शुड हैव क्रॉस डिसेबिलिटी ई आई सी इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस gradually the network of eics should be extended to all the districts across the country the state and uts need to play a vital role in setting up of these centers preferably adjacent to district hospitals and district early intervention center that is deic being run by the state health department or they may be a part of the district disability rehabilitation centers set up by them next all the eics may be set up on the same principles and common early intervention protocol to be followed interlinking of deics with eics should be ensured the eics should also be given access to udid portal for helping parents for assessment and certification of disability these centers should be linked with ali yavar jam national institute of speech and hearing disabilities mumbai for identification of beneficiary children with hearing disabilities for cochlear implants at the earliest opportunity the eics will be linked with islr tc new delhi for the purpose of providing early intervention and educational services in sign language to children with hearing disabilities and their parents Asha and Anganwadi workers need to liaise with the concerned EIC authorities for early reporting of risk cases as well as for sensitizing parents about availability of such facilities in the vicinity there should be a nodal authority in every state and ut to oversee functioning of eics cdeics to have all information about mother and child care at prenatal perinatal and postnatal stages cdeics should be integral part of awareness measures at sub district and village level these centers to serve as a training center for training to the staff of phc and chc level and asha and anganwadi workers for home based rehabilitative care services